My name is Jonathan Parks, and welcome to Jonathan's Nature Craft. I must inform you that I do not live in this house by myself, but live here with other people. Sometimes other members of the household may have to walk through areas where I might be recording with other family members on the phone. If you hear any noise like that, please feel free to disregard. We are doing our best to get noise-canceling equipment, which may at least keep you from hearing exactly what is being said. Thank you for considering. Well, that last little moment ago, you all just saw me do a pricing video. I decided just to kind of make use of a little more time to get on here and make another one. Tell you what little issue happened here was I got a couple of tags accidentally tied together and that string is so thin that it'd be hard to get them apart and to cut them would just break it so I threw those two away and so i say as for what we got here I do want to tell you all that we seem to have a limited supply of these kinds of tags I was showing you, I'd say we have a limited supply of these, and they're kind of expensive, so we kind of have to watch how many we use, but I decided I'd get on just to kind of show little other things I've worked on, and here are like two little heads I carved back in the old days, I'd say it was probably something like back in 2015, something like that. Maybe before that, whenever I purchased these little pieces of avocado wood that I carved them from. And this, there's, this one here kind of has a little crack in the back, so it became part of the carving and part of the little braids. I guess you could say this is a little Native American type and... This is probably just some random head of a man, but I do think I've kind of changed a little prices on some of those. I'm going to check back and see what I've done. And with the avocado pieces, yes, I do believe that I see here I got them on my inventory marked at $15. So thought I might do a little special thing and kind of give a little intro of the wood there because I'll tell you at that time in my life I was just really interested in all the exotic woods and going online and finding them and even found out they even said at least for that site that mango and avocado and some of them were good for carving and I purchased those they're expensive, so I don't really purchase them anymore, but I just wanted to try the different kinds of wood at that time, and I was playing a Farmville game also on Facebook, which was popular at that time, which had avocado trees in it, so since we kind of do little work like that, I say might even just kind of give people an ideal here and probably do this I'm gonna write I've already started to do it but I'm gonna write avocado on the price tag and put $15 on there just to kind of give people an idea as to what the wood is because that would probably be a little interesting wood to them maybe and I'll show you all a little bit also what I have is this little head I carved from persimmon wood. I got the persimmon off of a website I used to order from with my older email addresses called MC Wood. It was just from something in North Carolina. And eBay introduced me to that store. That was how I got on their email list and got to purchasing from them. So that was just the best of how that worked out. I'm going to take these little tags and put them around these avocado wood figures. And 
just to kind of show a little interesting thing as to what the wood is. Kind of give people a little clue or a hint here. Let them see it like this. And kind of try to get the next tag around this next one as well. Kind of get the work done in. And I'd say this is a time when, you know, it kind of does me a little good just to kind of get away from the world and be in my house and working on little things for my business. Try to show how much of a life I have, why sometimes it's just not bad being as single as you can be. Just kind of show you're kind of happy with your life and I'd say for here we got the other little avocado tag on this one too. And there's kind of little individual things we got here. I'll show you all that this right here is this persimmon head I was telling you about. I was just experimenting with the wood. At that time, I didn't know what a persimmon fruit was. But I did see on the site that persimmon wood is kind of like an American ebony wood. That it, the persimmon tree is kind of related to the ebony tree. Now, of course, fruits grow off of ebony trees too. But the thing about this was is, is that... When, when I emailed a friend to ask him about carving it, he kind of said that persimmon wood is a fruit wood and therefore hard. Hadn't been aware that a fruit grew on it, but there had been a day when in one of our Woodcarvers Guild meetings, some guy brought in a persimmon from his garden or from his tree or something like that for everyone to try. Now, the persimmon was actually good. The problem was, was that I thought it looked like a tomato, and I don't like tomatoes. I think they're nasty. But as for this, he's kind of stated that the persimmon is not a tomato, so he cut me a piece like he did everybody. I tried it. It was pretty good. And of course, I, and of course one thing I knew about my grandfather was that he grew up on a farm, and he did a lot of farm work growing up. But what I didn't know was until my mother told me this when I came home talking about it, was that there were a lot of persimmon trees on his farm and that he picked a lot of persimmon trees and farmed them. And I'd probably say once or twice if I'm, I'm ever out, you know, shopping at for groceries or something like that and see any out there, it's the kind of thing that one of these days I might stop by and get it, but... You know, see, the thing of it is, is that I'm special needs, and my parents pretty much do the grocery shopping in our family because I live at home with them, so there's not many groceries I need to shop for myself, except for maybe I'd say to go to the pharmacy and get my medicine or something like that. So I'd say that this is all just little good things we got and I'd say other one other thing I forgot to mention about groceries is that sometimes I might just go out there and just buy desserts like cakes and pies for myself but have to be a little bit cautious and kind of try to abstain a little bit and not overdo that because that can be a little bad for my blood pressure if I overdo it. So, we always got to use our little cautions sometimes. And I'll tell you what, I, as I, I got so busy talking here that I forgot to write something on this tag, but I'm going to do it right now. Kind of write on the tag. persimmon and got to check my price here to see what I put on this as a price and it I put $25 on that 
so it's going to go on the tag as well try to give people a little better hints about the woods sometimes show it right here of course one thing I always do is I always label the bottoms of my things with the types of wood that I use and apparently this knot on here I didn't get it tight enough the first time so or get the string tight enough so gonna have to undo it a little bit and try to kind of like um, you know tie it a little tighter this next time around and try to get it in just the proper right shape that we need for it I say I say I mean you know it gets to be a little trouble sometimes just to fool with something like this but somehow we make it somehow we manage it I tell you and these knots you know best not to try to untie them with your teeth read a little Dr. Seuss book when I was a kid called the tooth book one thing they tell you in that book is not to use your teeth to untie knots or you might lose them and they even showed a man in that picture who was using his teeth to try to untie a knot and had one of his front teeth fly out thankfully it was a cartoon drawing of a picture not a real picture but they warn you in the books just to be careful about doing things like that or you might cause little things like that to happen I mean I tell you sometimes I do use my teeth to untie knots but not on inventory like this that you're going to sell can't be transmitting germs to your patrons for sure and I'd probably say that there's kind of some other items I might have here and I do want to tell you all a little bit about these dogs that I have here we got to make sure we get all the dogs together now and I say that there's like a little couple of little walnut basset hounds there's a cherry basset hound or that's what this one is this one is actually a bloodhound from Babinga but the one thing I do with when I make the tags for my dogs is I label as to what dog breed they are now I tell y'all that there's probably one little dog here we might kind of consider putting a regular tag on this one because this one I couldn't really give this breed any particular name it just came out random it was supposed to be a dachshund and from my point of view it was a dachshund when I looked at pictures and drew out the pattern and carved it out but I took one of these to a show one time and the lady saw it and she said it doesn't look like a dachshund and I didn't know why but I was at another show one time and talking about dogs telling them I had one and the lady asked me where is the dachshund so I showed her this and she told me it needed a longer body so I'd say that somewhere around here I probably have another dachshund that does have a longer body or maybe even something like that and but I would say that it's probably well now I see it it's right here this is the one that came out later whenever I got more experience kind of made the pattern and gave it a longer body that time around that was how I got it to come out so much better and there's going to be just some more to show but this one we just write dog on the tag like I'm about to do here and since all of these dogs I say are $15 so will this one be there's probably going to come a time when dogs are going to become such a popular seller for me that prices will go up on them but I'd say that we're not quite to that point just yet but I do think we might be getting there because dogs are one of my most popular sellers in all that I make 
and I'd say for these other ones, we can use this regular tag. Like, I'll tell y'all that we kind of got most of them together here, but I'd say these two little Basset Hounds. I've got a couple of other Basset Hounds here, another Walnut one and a Cherry one. So, we're going to make a couple of little Jonathan's Nature Craft tags with those names on them and come down here where you can see what I'm sort of writing on here and it'll say Basset Hound And we're going to go ahead and put these two tags with the two Basset Hounds. And while I'm at it, I'll show you all what I have here is a couple of little Great Danes. I've got one that is carved out of tamarind, similar to one I've already sold. <coughs> and I've got one here that is carved from guanacaste wood. A wood that comes out of Mexico, and I think that Guanacaste is also the name of the region that the wood comes from. So, we've got a couple of tags here we're going to write Great Dane on and put $15 on those. So, come down with the screen here, put Great Dane on a couple of tags now. We're going to put a little $15 script on these as well. Show the type of work we have, the type of work we do. And it's going to be what we have over here. So kind of put the tags along. And I'd say as for what we got now... We can probably end this pretty soon, but I'll show you last of all that we have a bloodhound from Babinga and an Irish setter from Redwood. And we're going to kind of take little tags and put down the kinds of dogs on these because with breeds of dogs, that's what we do. We put the breed of dog on the tag, its name. So we're going to come down here, kind of write... blood hound and it'll be $15 and for this other one we will write Irish setter and it will be $15 so coming away here that's what we've got to show now. We're going to put these tags along with them. And there's one little thing I've got here. Don't think I'm prepared to sell this just yet, but I'll tell you a little story about this dog. I mean, whenever I carved Santas out of this poplar wood, it would turn black after I oiled it or soaked it in the oil even though it was originally a green wood and it just so happened that I thought it would happen with this little retriever too when I carved it make it come out as a black lab retriever but it came out green instead so it kind of has to be a little green retriever or regular retriever whatever we're going to call it we might even maybe get a tag on this one and get a name on it, but perhaps I'd say we'll probably use a basic tag for this since it's not one of the most significant pieces.
and I know that I forgot to turn the camera down for this, but I just wrote Retriever on there because it's hard to see, but that's pretty much the way this one has worked. So that's kind of why I couldn't think of a particular type of retriever for it to be, because there's no such thing as a green retriever. So just put that little name on it just like that. And I do want to say it's getting time to the end. So take care and be blessed. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I hope to see you in the next video. Stay tuned.